started out as an audition pianist for Betty Buckley and Donna McKetney, actually, were my first two clients. After being a rehearsal pianist, where did you go, where did you go next? Soon, uh, produced by uh, Bruce uh, Stark, which was, uh, they said, soon came too late. <laughs> Yes, indeed it did, but it had Richard Gere, it had Barry Bostwick, it had Lita Galloway, it had Bonnie Enton, it had Singer Williams, who was the original voice of Aquarius, in the original hair, and uh, Mel Carter. Then I went and did the Bernstein I auditioned 12 times for Judas at the same time, and then Tom Horgan decided, Tom Horgan decided that I was auditioning for the wrong part. So he said, would you consider switching now to Herod? And I said, I would love to. So I went out and bought a caftan. I bought a skull cap, beaded. And at that time, you couldn't get wedgie sandals in men's sizes. So I bought like a woman's 12. And I changed in the men's room right by the stage door of the Schubert. And I came out and, uh, and I did his song. And uh, so I got like a bunch of callbacks. But at the same time, Bob Lamond and Lois Zetter sent me up to sing for the Mass. And I got three callbacks for the Mass, and they said, you're coming back for the Maestro. So I sat down at the piano and I played a true gospel piece from my background, because I grew up in the Pentecostal church. And Where? Detroit, Michigan, Music City. And uh, when I got to the second half of it, where I took it into double time, he stood up on his chair and tried to holy dance, literally, in the spirit. And when I got through, he ran up and he embraced me and he said, I love you, Mark. He, you. Did you know how to do that? I've mastered every piece Wait, of music. Bernstein? Yes. Oh. And I've mastered every kind of music. And I said, Meister, I don't think I would worry too much about this. And I got the part. I got it, like, right on the spot. And uh, the 21 solos were expected to know their entire solo at private rehearsal just for the solos. I, of course, had the advantage I could teach it to myself. I pass with flying colors. We go to rehearsal. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to stand up and sing in the mass. Gordon Davidson, who is, is absolutely my heart, the director. Uh, we come back from lunch. Was this originally done at the Mark Tabor? No, it was done at the, uh, the premiere at the Opera House at the Kennedy Center. Did you I get a, a message from the stage manager. Um, my Bernstein would like to meet you at 9 a.m. tomorrow downstairs in the rehearsal room. I said, I can't be fired for movies. It's nothing like that. So I met him and I said, is everything okay? And he said, oh, everything is spectacular. And please don't call me Mr. Bernstein, call me Letty. And I said, no, I don't think I can do that yet. Uh, maybe after the rehearsal, we'll see how it goes. He said, look, you're a born arranger. I know this. You're a fabulous musician. You have already taken it to a year down the line. You're now doing it in your concert act, he said. So I make a deal with you. These six bars you do my way, these eight bars you do your way, and we'll find the balance between these two, and that will become the arrangement, and I will be through. And so you didn't help do the arrangement of easy? I wasn't trying to. It's just that I, that's why I never took over a show. I've only done original pieces because I hear it a certain way. How did you get involved with the paintings? Well, how are you connected? We've known each other for a very long time. Very, very long time. This is 10 to 12 years to get to this moment. But he was determined he would crack the Chelsea art market, and he's done it. What are you well, working I'm, on? I'm working in China. What? In Beijing. So, Beijing. Who would have ever thought? this point in life. But uh, there's a gentleman named Tony Stimak who used to run musical theater works here. He's a guy I can't ever say no to. I just can't. Because he produced Sugar Hill, which Roberto and I wrote together. Right, yeah. Sure. And uh, he's been an incredible champion, so he calls one day and says, I want to come to Beijing. What I want to know is the what the first. name of the project is and uh, when will it be? Well, I'm doing two. Okay, I'm, go ahead. I'm working on the Joker's game which is Star-Crossed Lovers, 
it starts in the 12th century with an empress who's looking for a husband for her daughter, and in the prologue it switches to modern times. And, and he is like a Chris Angel kind of magician. And he has to be gorgeous, and he has to sing fabulous, and he has to be able to act. Like Merlin, but with an More or less, yeah, yeah. So we did a workshop last summer, and full production is happening as we speak. I'm going back to China in July till September. Me back Reese. I was How original music director of Reese on Broadway. Yeah. Mm. I played it for five years. I also did over here at the same time with the Andrews sisters. Then I got the movie. Oh, you were only as a dancer. Ranger. Some stuff happened. Charlie Fox got fired, largely due to some stuff he pulled with Olivia in the pre-record. And uh, we're sitting in a trailer. This is an absolute true, the best show business story I know in my life. And uh, Alan Carr, Pat Birch, and myself. And Alan says, you know, John is really grumpy. So Olivia's now got hopelessly devoted to you. We have you're the one that I want. I'm not singing that drive-in movie. So I want an original song. As is my way, I just said, well, you know, girl songs, 50s. My first girlfriend's name was Sandy. Don't you think you should have a song called Sandy? Don't you think you should go to the hotel and write it and bring it to me tomorrow morning? I said, jaw on. I got in the car. I was under the Paramount Arch because there's a light right there. And I said, oh, stranded at the drive-in, branded a food. What will they say Monday at school? Took the tape recorder, recorded that. Beat it to the hotel, to the Sunset Marquee, walked in through my bank sound, walked to the piano, and I wrote it in 20 minutes. Do, do a little bit. Sandy, can't you see I'm in misery? We had a star, now we're a pub. Da, 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 da. And when I did it in my act, I would always say, John added that thing at the end, you know, oh, Sandy. But in my act, I would do, oh, Sandy. <laughs> How was John? Did you work with John? How was he working oh, with Oh, I've known John forever. He's John so talented. was a replacement in Greece on Broadway. Mm -hmm. He played duty. Mm -hmm. oh.